Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your doorbell transformer for Ring Video Doorbell. Keep watching the video, I'll show you how I do that. Hey what's up guys, it's Jeff Lepard from JeffLepard.com. Today we're going to be talking about and I'm going to show you how to upgrade your doorbell transformer for Ring Video Doorbell or Ring Video Doorbell Pro. If you haven't already installed the Ring Video Doorbell or you have installed it and are experiencing power issues or troubles, then this is the video for you. Many old houses have old doorbell transformers that cannot sufficiently power your Ring devices. That goes for about 20% of the old homes. So if you're experiencing loss of connection to your router, if your video doorbell turns on, turns off, power flicks, or you just don't have a strong enough connection or you're having too much glitches, this could be the video for you to watch because most likely it's your doorbell transformer that is causing the problems. Ring requires a 16 to 24 volt transformer with a minimum of 30 amps. If you don't have that, then chances are you're gonna experience some problems. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to change up your doorbell transformer and I'm actually going to use a 24 volt transformer with a 40 amp uh, per hour rating and you won't have any problems with that that's uh, quite sufficient power so next thing is I'm just going to take you to the basement and show you how we're going to install that come on guys okay guys so we're just in the basement where my doorbell transformer is located so if this applies to you where you have to change your transformer, just take note that the transformer usually is located in a few different spots, either in a basement off of a fixture or off of uh, onto um, some sort of uh, joist, or it'll be behind the actual doorbell itself or close to the doorbell if it's not in the basement or near a furnace or somewhere where it's gonna collect the power from. So this is a, a very old transformer and it's uh, only running um, hardly any volts. It wouldn't even power the, uh, the doorbell. It's about, uh, actually it's just 12 volts, so it's not good enough. I have to change it out. So I have my Edwards uh, 24 volt transformer. So also just take note, there's another transformer which I've seen used in many different videos. So although this is a 24 um, volt transformer, you can actually, it's a try one, you can actually pick your voltage. It only has 20 voltage amps. So it may work, but you may run into some issues. I've also read some people on the forum where they've used uh, this type of transformer and they have had no luck uh, powering up their uh, Ring Doorbell Pro. So we're not going to be using that. Um, just also, it's a little harder for us in Canada to obtain these transformers. I've also noticed on HomeDepot.com, uh, for the people that live in the U.S., it's very easily available right off the counter. Um, unfortunately for us in uh, Toronto, Canada, where I'm from, I can't uh, pick that up at Home Depot, so I had to go to a specialty electrical shop to find this. Or you can go on uh, Amazon as well. So, the first thing before we touch any power, it's very important to know if you're not comfortable doing this type of work, it's strongly advised that you use a licensed electrician to do your wiring for you, especially if you're not comfortable to do so. But the first step you must do is you must disconnect the power. We're going to do that at the breaker panel to make sure that there is no power at this light, which is also supplying the uh, transformer. Once that's uh, safe to touch, then we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, installation. Okay, so we're just at the breaker panel. Now we have a, a little bit of a label. Some, most of them should have a label. If they don't, then you're gonna have to do trial and error and start uh, flicking some of the breakers. Just be careful to make sure that uh, your computers and stuff are all uh, backed up and stored. Anyhow, so this actually corresponds. Number 23 is the basement. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power, like so, and uh, we're ready to begin. Okay, so we're back at the uh fixture with the transformer. We've got our work light so that we can see and um, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking off the uh, 
light uh, mount so that I can gain access to the uh, screws and stuff like that where the transformer's on. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. We're going to disconnect the leads to the doorbell box upstairs. And uh, I know it's probably hard for you to see. It's just two wires with uh, screws on each side. Just one here. We got one more here. Okay, like so. This one right here, which is off of the light, they're just using a I'm going to take this off. This is for the wire of the transformer. Okay. And then our power wire here is actually wired into here. Okay, so here we're just going to try to loosen the nut on the inside. Okay. like that. So this transformer that I'm going to be installing actually uh, isn't a fixture mount so I'm going to go ahead I have to affix this somewhere where it's safe and screw it into the joist to make sure it's uh, supported and then I'm going to run the wires uh, to the box. Okay so I've selected my location where I'm going to install the transformer. I'm just going to rest it a little bit on top of this box I'm going to put it right there where I still have access to run these wires and the doorbell uh, leads can actually still uh, connect. So I'm just going to use my drill. I'm going to screw it to the joist and hopefully that'll stay in place. So now that the uh, transformer is secure, the green wire on the transformer is going to be grounded. So you won't be able to see very much in the video, but there's a screw with the copper wire, um, which is the ground. I'm just going to screw this to the body of the frame so that the transformer is grounded. I'm going to pull the casing off the wire. So now on this transformer, there's two black wires. One is going to go to your power, so it'll be your black wire. The other is going to go to your common or neutral wire, which is your white. It doesn't matter which wire goes where, um, that's just how the transformers are designed. All it wants is power from one end and neutral common from the other. So we're just going to go ahead and feed the wires through, okay, like so. Okay, so we just uh, put the two screws back for the light fixture, uh, transformer secure, wiring is all done. So the only thing I have to do is just hook up the leads for the doorbell. So again, this doesn't matter what where it goes, I just have to unscrew and put the uh, wires in. One. There we go guys, and that's it for the transformer installation. Okay guys, that's it. If you're wondering where to get one of these transformers, I'm going to drop the link in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Share our video, like our video, and we'll see you next time from jefflepard.com. Take care, guys.